Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to a new video of Cambridge Isles and this is the video about the Cambridge Isles listening. Today we are going to solve from question number 27 to 30 from Cambridge Isles book 17 listening test 1. In fact this video is the part of the video which I have uploaded earlier. So anyone who has not watched that video please watch that video to get the whole idea of the Cambridge Isles listening test 1 from the Cambridge Isles book 17. Coming back to our today's video, from question number 27 to 30, there are four questions. Question number 27, medical terminology. Question number 28, diet and nutrition. Question number 29, animal disease. And question number 30, wildlife medication. So these are four modules on veterinary science course. And above these four questions, you can see there is a box of opinions from A to F. You can say that you have to match any of the question with any of the option in the box. All the options in the box are in the past indefinite tense. So our answers in the audio will also be in the past tense. Secondly, when the 30 seconds are given to read the questions, there is no need to read the questions. You have to read the options very carefully because when the audio will start, all the questions will be played in a sequence. So let's start our today's test. Questions 27 to 30. What opinion do these students give about each of the following modules on their veterinary science course? So we have to find the opinions of the students about the four modules of veterinary science which are given in the box of opinions. Option A, Tim found this easier than expected. Option B, Tim found this was not very clearly organized. Option C, Diana may do some further study on this. Option D, they both found the reading required for this was difficult. Option E, Tim was shocked at something he learned on this module. Option F, they were both surprised how little is known about some aspects of this. And below the box of opinions, we can see that there is written modules on veterinary science course. So four modules are given from question number 27 to 30. Question number 27, medical terminology. Question number 28, diet and nutrition. Question number 29, animal disease. Question number 30, wildlife medication. So first tip is that you can see that all the opinions in the box are given in past indefinite tense. So it means that our answers in the audio will also be in the past tense. Secondly, when 30 seconds are given to you to read the questions, you need to read only the options of opinions into the box. There is no need to read the questions like question number 27, medical terminology or question number 28, diet and nutrition. Because when the audio will start, all the questions will be played in a sequence. Question number 27, medical terminology. So let's start the audio. Now listen and answer questions 27 to 30. Now we've got to give a bit of feedback about last term's modules. Just short comments, apparently. Shall we do that now? OK. So, medical terminology. Well, my heart sank when I saw that, especially right at the beginning of the course. And I did struggle with it. So we have listened to in the audio, Diana says, well, my heart sank when I saw that, especially right at the beginning of the course. And I did struggle with it. It means in the start, Diana was worried or confused about this module named medical terminology. And later on, she got used of it. By heart sank, we mean worried or confused. And Diana struggled in this module. Listen to the audio. What does Tim says about this module, medical terminology? That is our question number 27. I thought it would be hard, but actually I found it all quite straightforward. Tim says, I would thought it would be hard, but actually I found it all quite straightforward. It means that Tim was expecting that the module named medical terminology would be hard, but he says he found quite straightforward unexpectedly. First, we listen to that Diana says that she struggled in this module and then we listen to in the audio that Tim says that he thought that the module of medical terminology was hard but later on he found it quite straightforward. By straightforward, we mean 
easy. So let's go to the box of opinions to get a suitable match for question number 27. Let's start from the bottom. Option F, they were both surprised how little is known about some aspects of this. No, we have not listened to in the audio about the astonishment of Tim and Diana. Option E, Tim was shocked at something he learned on this module. No. Option D, they both found the reading required for this was difficult. No. Option C, Diana may do some further study on this. No. Option B, Tim found this was not very clearly organized. No. Option A, Tim found this easier than expected. So this is the right answer for the question number 27. Because in the audio we have listened to that Tim says I would thought it would be hard but actually I found it all quite straightforward. Listen to the audio again. Now we've got to give a bit of feedback about last term's modules. Just short comments apparently. Shall we do that now? OK. So medical terminology. Well, my heart sank when I saw that. Especially right at the beginning of the course. And I did struggle with it. I thought it would be hard, but actually I found it all quite straightforward. So we can cross option A in the box and we can write A in front of question number 27. Next is the question number 28, diet and nutrition. Listen to the audio. What did you think about diet and nutrition? OK, I suppose. Do you remember what they told us about pet food? So in the audio we have listened to Tim says do you remember what they told us about pet food. So after listening to pet food we can imagine that pet food is related to the question number 28 diet and nutrition. Listen to the audio further. And the fact that there's such limited checking into whether or not it's contaminated. I mean in comparison with the checks on food for humans. And there is such limited checking into whether or not it's contaminated. I mean in comparison with the checks on food for humans. It means that the food for pets is not checked properly and they do not bother if the food is contaminated. Whereas the food for humans is checked. Listen to the audio further. I thought that was terrible. So in the audio we have listened to that Tim says I thought that was terrible. I thought that was terrible means Tim was shocked to learn that. Tim was surprised to learn that food for pets is not checked properly. And hint for question number 28 is that as we have listened to, Tim is saying all this. So the answer of question number 28 will be a option in which name of Tim is given or any reference to Tim is given. Let's go to the box of opinions in which different options are given. Option B. Tim found this was not very clearly organized. No. Although Tim is mentioned in the option B, but we did not listen to about management or organizing of something. Option C, Diana may do some further study on this. No. Option D, they both found the reading required for this was difficult. No. Option F, they were both surprised how little is known about some aspects of this. No. And right now, we have only one option that is remaining, that is option E. Tim was shocked at something he learned on this module. Yes, this is the right answer for the question number 28 because in the audio we have listened to that Tim says, do you remember what they told us about pet food? And there is such limited checking into whether or not it's contaminated. I mean in comparison with the checks on food for humans. I thought it was terrible. So we can cross the option E in the box and we can write E in front of question number 28. Let's listen to the audio again. What did you think about diet and nutrition? OK, I suppose. Do you remember what they told us about pet food and the fact that there's such limited checking into whether or not it's contaminated? I mean, in comparison with the checks on food for humans, I thought that was terrible. Next is the question number 29, animal disease. Listen to the audio. Hmm. I think the module that really impressed me was the animal disease one, when we looked at domesticated animals in different parts of the world, like camels and water buffalo and alpaca. The economies of so many countries depend on these, 
but scientists don't know much about the diseases that affect them. Yes. I thought they'd know a lot about ways of controlling and eradicating those diseases, but that's not the case at all. So in the audio, first we listen to that Diana says, I think the module that really impressed me was the animal disease one. When we look at the domesticated animals in different parts of the world like camels and what to buffalo and alpaca. Then we have listened to in the audio that the economies of so many countries depend on them. It means that the economies of the world depend on the domestic animals. And in the end we have listened to that Diana says the scientists don't know much about the diseases that affect them. And in the reply, Tim says, yes, I thought they would know a lot about ways of controlling and eradicating those diseases, but that's not the case at all. It means doctors have to work for the eradication of diseases, but they don't work to solve this case or they don't know how to control the diseases. So let's go to the box of opinions to find the suitable answer for question number 29. Option B, Tim Ford, this was not very clearly organized. No. Option C, Diana may do some further study on this. No. Option D. They both found the reading required for this was difficult. No. And option F. They were both surprised how little is known about some aspects of this. This is the right answer for question number 29 because in the audio we have listened to that Diana says the scientists don't know much about the diseases that affect them. And then Tim says yes I thought they would know a lot about ways of controlling and eradicating those diseases but that's not the case at all. So we can cross the option F in the box and we can write F in front of question number 29. Let's listen to the audio again. Mm. I think the module that really impressed me was the animal disease one. When we looked at domesticated animals in different parts of the world, like camels and water buffalo and alpaca, the economies of so many countries depend on these. But scientists don't know much about the diseases that affect them. Yes. I thought they'd know a lot about ways of controlling and eradicating those diseases, but that's not the case at all. Last question, question number 30, wildlife medication. Listen to the audio. I loved the wildlife medication unit. Things like helping birds that have been caught in oil spills. That's something I hadn't thought about before. Yeah. I thought I might write my dissertation on something connected with that. Right. So, actually, I was thinking something along the same... So, in the audio, we have listened to that Tim says, I love the wildlife medication unit. Things like helping birds that have been caught in oil spills. That's something I had not thought about before. Then Diana says, yeah, I thought I might write my dissertation on something connected with that. By dissertation, we mean writing an essay. And Tim says, right. It means Tim agrees with Diana. Let's go to the box to find the suitable match from the box. Option B, Tim found this was not very clearly organized. No. Option D, they both found the reading required for this was difficult. No. And the option C is, Diana may do some further study on this. This is the right answer for the question number 30 so we can write c in front of question number 30 and we can cross the option c in the list of options because in the audio we have listened to that diana says i might write my dissertation on something connected with that it means diana wants to do some further study or research on that so let's listen to the audio again i loved the wildlife medication unit things like helping birds that have been caught in oil spills that's something I hadn't thought about before. Yeah. I thought I might write my dissertation on something connected with that. Right. So, actually, I was thinking something along the same. Well, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe my YouTube channel, and press the bell icon for the notifications of upcoming videos.